and they've got, well, four of their top five players back from last year. Only lost one player. There is the starting lineup you see here presented to you by the Atlantic Union Bank. A name that JMU fans might be familiar with is Eva Hodgson. She started her career at William & Mary. Had a pretty good career when she was there with the Tribe against the Dukes. In fact, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But we're going to talk a little more about Deja Kelly, a junior. Uh, she twisted her ankle in the preseason, did play a little bit uh, in the first couple of games, did not play in Wednesday's win over uh, South Carolina State. They felt it was more precautionary going beyond precaution. But she had a pretty good game against the Dukes last year, North Carolina winning that game down in Chapel Hill. And in that contest, she ended up scoring 21 points, three assists, five rebounds against JMU. She can do quite a bit, obviously, for the North Carolina Tar Heels. And on the other side, for the Dukes, Peyton McDaniel, Missy. For Peyton, well, she gets her first start because of an injury going all the way back to January of 21, but she can fill up the, the hoop pretty quickly. Absolutely. I'm glad to see Peyton get the start. Uh, it's going to be a good confidence booster for her. She's a solid player. Hope to see her get in the rhythm real quick. Now she is uh, coming off a 15-point game, which is the most she has scored since the CA tournament back in March of 2021. She had uh, 22 points against Northeastern in that CA tournament. That's her last big double-digit game. Uh, and the last time she started also happened to be against Northeastern. She did play some games after that, scored 20 points in that contest. And uh, also out today, Khadijah Torre. Torre with a sickness, so she is not available for the Dukes this afternoon as well. Now, the Dukes do have a few more numbers on the bench and, and overall players uh, available than does North Carolina. But North Carolina, everybody on that UNC bench makes contributions to their program. We see right away Kelly gets the basketball, and oh, nice there hoop. she does score it right away. So quickly off the opening tap, and without German running the point today, the Dukes will call upon Jamia Hazel to do most of that, normally the number nice two cut. guard. Yep, there is the bucket. Peyton. Slova, the transfer from Middle Tennessee State from Moscow, Russia. I like Kozlova. She's she's a tough player. Very strong inside. Good shooter. As is McDaniel. Coach O'Regan, a smart move here starting McDaniel. Had a chance maybe to do so in the prior four games, but had her coming off the bench in all of those. From the outside, there's Hodgson, and Hodgson can blast it to the baseline and hands it off to Kiki Jefferson. Jefferson, last seven games, has scored 20 points or more. Misses that opportunity. That was a good look by Jefferson. Out inside, working it up, and the foul will go. But Paris will cut through the lane. Instead, the drive by Todd Williams. She pulls up. Shot no good. Rebound comes down off the board, off the floor, that is, for Baden McDaniel. Leaves it for Hazel to work with. Three and a half elapsed. 7-5. North Carolina with the lead. Here's a three-pointer. Jefferson, left corner is good. Taking the lead at 8-7. There's Kelly. Kozlova. One of the Tar Heels goes down to the floor. She is hurt. She's not getting up. McDaniel, three-pointer. Good. They'll probably stop the play right here. In the tournament play to into the championship. Both soccer programs ended up as the runner-up in the Sun Belt. And North Carolina field hockey going for national championship number 10 today. They're up in Stores, Connecticut. The Dukes, four out of eight from the field. And three out of four on trays. And Peyton McDaniel off to a quick start with eight points for James Madison. Inside it goes. Claire Neff trying to defend. Nice move by Utsby. Chloe Sterling now in the lineup for the Dukes of James Madison. McDaniel misses. Rebound is yanked down by Tiani Key. Played for the first time Wednesday. Had a pretty good ball game. She had been out with an injury. And down for the Dukes was back scores down the floor for Utsby, the junior from Rochester, Minnesota. On the preseason watch list for Jersey Mike's Naismith Trophy, which is a National Player of the Year. Yes. They have a lot of players like that. A yeah. lot of players on watch list. In fact, she and Deja Kelly on that same list. And Jefferson, she drops in her... Jefferson has six in the Dukes trail by one. Quickly, Kelly drops underneath. Nice little finish there. Well, that's Hazel's shot. She just didn't knock it down that time. Key will try the three-pointer. That's hard off the backboard. Rebound comes in. It's Claire Neff for the Dukes. 
Neff, long pass, it goes down to Kiki Jefferson. Jefferson picked up by the former William & Mary player, and Jefferson has hit another. Lofting over Usby in the lane. Now she'll kick it out, but there's Hazel. Like a free safety, she picks off the pass. It is football Sunday. <laughs> well, it's a pretty interesting football Saturday as well. <laughs> yes, it was. Hazel crossover and drops it in. Hodgson will inbound. And the option goes over to Usby. She'll take the shot and it rims around and falls. Is Hazel with two fouls. Paris launches the three-pointer off the back of the iron. Sterling with the rebound. In a bit of a crowd. Jefferson on the run. Jefferson calls for it, gets it, and scores the bucket. Well, she's getting a nod here. Well, she, was, she was going to get some today anyway because of the injury to German and how they plan to get those minutes uh, yeah. uh, attended to. And there's another. She's a big, strong kid. She is. Six foot one. Looks bigger than that, actually. She's got some muscle to her as well. Oderkirk thought about the three. Here comes Hazel. Hazel head fake, steps in, takes the two, and connects. I don't believe I went to okay. that one. I was right. still living in the little town of Clifton Forge. Oh, you were in Clifton Forge at that time. Okay. Then you moved to Charlottesville. Moved to Charlottesville my junior year of high school. Okay, well, that makes sense. I saw that the game was played in Charlottesville and thought, I wonder if Missy went to that ball game. I went to a few games in U-Haul. Well, 76 was the first year I went to a college basketball game. Okay. It was Old Dominion and St. Bonaventure on the gets her first bucket. And the Dukes have a two-point lead. I did see Old Dominion women play back in the 70s as well. And footwork on situations like that. Driving Kelly. Amir Williams got there. Amira did and distracted her just enough. Down to the closing seconds. Kiki Jefferson. The Dukes have a four-point lead on the 13th ranked Tar Heels. Great start for Jefferson. The freshman Paris, she'll answer it. And her fourth three-pointer of the year came into the contest shooting 18% from beyond the arc, and most of her shots have come from there. This may be the final possession of the half. The shot clock has been turned off. Jefferson with Todd Williams on her. Gets a screen from Kozlova. Outside the shot by Williams, a three. Hazel pulls up into the open space. Rebound, Usby. Oh, that was a good look for her. Stepping into a three is Kelly, and she swishes it down. Hazel with Kelly on her. Mira Williams has checked back in for James Madison, as has Claire Neff. Triple in the handoff. Hazel, shot clock down to six. Hazel trying to get three of Usby. And Hazel gets That's underneath the taller player. Nice patience by Hazel. Good look. She stepped back a couple of times just to draw the taller player to her, and then she squirted right on past her. But Stepping, top of the circle. Won't fall in. Rebound, Kozlova back up. It will not go for Kozlova. Four in blue underneath, and the easy rebound for Anya Poole. Quickly down the floor, Todd Williams steps in, takes the shot, and buries it. And the rebound pulled in. Here comes Usby. She'll pull up in the keyhole. Can't find it to sink. Rebound is knocked away. Neff on the floor gets it out to Peyton McDaniel. McDaniel starts the break, and the Dukes will slow it down here as two defenders from North Carolina got into the mix and slowed the Dukes offense down. McDaniel on the screen up top. Steps it back looking for another screen. This time she'll use the dribble. Williams shot clock at eight. McDaniel steps out left wing. Bingo! 17 points. Multiple all CAA and all state honors and already on Missy Dudley's Bucks uh, Hall of Fame list. For sure. She's a great leader. This is her team. Well, I, I like the way her game is spread out a little bit this year. As Keep up with that this year for Kiki. Well, she sees the court really well. 
I see her looking inside. Maybe more than she did last year. And she's got a nice big target with Kaslava. Yeah, that she does. Here comes Jefferson. Will drive. And the right-handed shot is up and in. Wow. The drive. Kelly, her shot no good. Rebound, Claire Neff. Neff, who always eats pickles at halftime. <laughs> she shared that little bit of information with Corey Spector last year. She shared some of those pickles with uh, David Taylor, Corey, and myself during one of our broadcasts. 42 apiece. Driving over the rim and in. Under two minutes remaining in this stanza. Hodgson will inbounds, finds Usby. Back to Hodgins. And Hodgson drops it down for the former Tribe player. Her family already has a win over James Madison when her sister Sarah came here with the main Black Bears a week ago Monday and beat the Dukes by 2 o'clock. McDaniel out front, drives against Hodgson, leaves it down for Rowe. Rowe is stripped of the basketball. Stolen away by Deja Kelly. Kelly, it ends up in the hands of Usby. She'll drive. Hodgson drops into a three-pointer and another one for number 10. At the Atlantic Union Bank Center, a tight ball game we've had here throughout the afternoon. North Carolina will start the quarter with the basketball and the three-point advantage. Hodgson, who gave them a four-point lead, has the basketball. She drives, and she gets it to scoop and score. That's an important piece of hardware for him. <laughs> it is. Here's Kelly. All-American, number 25, dumps it inside, and the inside bucket, Anya Poole. Dukes uh, may need this young lady here to get hot, and that helps. They're they're new to each other, they and are. I I kind of expected Hazel to take that teardrop shot in the the keyhole. Kozlova was just turning to rebound, so she had her back to her. Kelly looking for the screen, gets around, takes the floater, and she will answer. Taking control late here in the third quarter. Battle for the loose basketball. It's on the floor, and the Carolina Tar Heels come away with it. Hodgson looking up the floor, but nothing doing there. She'll take it on her own. She'll drive. She'll scoop. She'll score. The Dukes need a bucket on this possession. The worst way. Gone a little cold here. But you know what? The three-pointer can get you right back in it. McDaniel will try to, and she hits. Figures she has 11. Four out of ten from the floor for the junior. She's probably seen Carolina play a few times, being she's from the Raleigh area. That's kind of one of the nice things down in that area. If you're a high school player, you get to see some pretty good ACC basketball. <laughs> yes, indeed. Duke and North Carolina State and North Carolina all right there. Step back. And the rebound up and in. 25-point or more game in her career. Proud trying to become the sixth player for the Dukes. Peyton McDaniel trying to fight through the screen. Hazel just misses a steal. There's the screen, goes underneath it. The step back, Kelly, wow, what a big shot by number 20. They're not going to start their play until the shot clock's down to 10, but stolen away by Hazel, timed it well. Hazel has a one on two, that, however. Nice. Finds Jefferson. Jefferson takes the shot up and in good. Last couple of minutes. One minute remains. Husby with the shot. No good. Rebound, wow. though. The stick back. I live on the Pin Laird side of Harrisonburg. The east side. The east side, yes. McDaniel, three-pointer. That's off. Steal a possession. Nice, and they, Williams. And they do. Williams <laughs> over her head, but right into the hands of Kelly. How about that? Not much she could do with that, but good intensity. And Kelly will just ease the game out. James Madison had a four-point lead at half, down by only three in the third quarter, but the fourth quarter belonged 